Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days! Yeah! Nakamura! Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this really exciting review. We have got, I mean look at this, we're in a different kind of space. Normally we're next door with the other figures, but this figure deserves all the attention. And it is... The defining moments, Shinsuke Nakamura, the very first Mattel figure for Nakamura. Um, and you are talking about one of the all-time greats. You are talking about a three-time IWGP heavyweight champion, a five-time IWGP intercontinental champion. Uh, he's also won the G1 Climax. He's also won... Uh, uh, IWGP uh, Tag Team Championships. He's now a two-time, currently a two-time NXT champion. And there's a lot of rumours that this guy will see the main roster on the Monday after WrestleMania. Or maybe even the Tuesday these days, you know. It could. I think SmackDown would suit him better. So, yeah, maybe the Tuesday after WrestleMania... Um, but yeah, this is the first ever Shinsuke Nakamura figure. He is currently down in NXT. Um, and yeah, I mean, this this captures a moment, uh, a really iconic moment. It's his debut in NXT and that occurred in April in 2016. So, um, you know, there was a lot of rumours that he was going to be coming to NXT. It was then announced that he was. And then it was announced that Sami Zayn would be fighting a mystery opponent, and that mystery opponent uh, turned out to be Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, and what a match. You are talking about one of, if not the greatest match of 2016. Phenomenal work. Um, you know, I mean, it's the first time we'd seen Shinsuke in NXT, and he came out and he's got his entrance, and oh, just everything was perfect. Perfection, absolutely perfection. It's um, TakeOver Dallas. So if you've got the network, have a look at NXT TakeOver Dallas 2016. You'll love it. <laughs> you will absolutely love it. Um, so let's have a look at the figure anyway, uh, because I could sit here and tell you loads about Nakamura, but we need to talk about this figure because it is the first uh, Nakamura Mattel figure and how unusual that that is a defining moment. <laughs> um, you know, no basic, no elite, bang, straight into defining moments. But then that suits Nakamura. Nakamura doesn't do things the normal way. Um, so, yeah, absolutely awesome uh, that we've got a figure. And, you know, I, I really like the fact that it is that TakeOver Dallas attire. It's not 100% correct, though. Um, and we will get to that when we open it up. There's sadly not a great deal to actually talk about when it comes to the packaging because uh, it's your standard defining moments packaging. Um, picture of Shinsuke there. No information on the back, which is really disappointing. So let's get it open anyway and have a look at the figure itself because I just, I can't wait any longer. <laughs> Okay guys, got Shinsk out of his packaging and uh, that's the inside of the uh, Defining Moments box as you can see. They always do, you know, a nice little inside job there. And yeah, it's alright, it's alright. Um, but this is the figure and first of all, I've got to tell you, right, when I saw images of this figure, I thought it looked good, not great, but I thought it was good effort for the first time. It's a lot better when you get it in person. I don't know why, and I'm sure as you're looking at this, you're still probably being a bit critical of it. Um, I'm still critical of it. I am still don't think this is perfect. This is not a Ty Dillinger. Uh, let me tell you right now, right? I do not think they've got this absolutely perfect, but it is better than what I was expecting from the pictures that I saw. Um, I mean, I love Shinsuke. This figure's obviously going to score high, um, but yeah, I just, I wasn't sure. The one thing I want to know, right, is I've got a ring here. Will he do his, cause that's, that's what you want, isn't it? You want him to do the old, hang on. I tried to do this the other day and then knock the table off. It's the, like that, one of them. Will he do that? Oh, 
Too old for getting up and down. Um, so, right, let's... Oh, what? Oh. Yeah, he, he is. His articulation is really good. Look, there you can see him kind of doing his entrance thing. Um, but annoyingly, his hand isn't open. So we can't, like, you can't put the ropes through his hand. You can if you do it the other way around, but... Uh, yeah, I think, I think with a little bit of experimenting, you could probably get that to work. Um, but yeah, that's good enough for me. That's all right. So that, that works. Uh, this I didn't realize is an accessory. That's what fell off just. Um, it's like a handkerchief. I don't know what it is. It's like a handkerchief thing. I don't know. But it goes over his bicep, uh, which is really cool. He's got the hair, which is the main feature, obviously with it all combed over to the side and that part shaved. I just think that's really cool as well. Look, if you look at it there, he's got long hair and then you look at it that side. I think that's, that's awesome. And uh, yeah, I mean, the downside to this is I think that the face scan is good, not great. I think that could be a little bit better. And also uh, when he made his debut, he actually had a black belt, not this red belt. And this is, this is full on red. This is like, it looks like little red riding hood. Look, everything's red here. <laughs> so only anyway, when you have that in the mix as well, which is his other top, um, it just, I think it would have, how, how do you even get that on? How does that top go on? Oh, uh, okay, right, you unclip it at the side. Right, uh, so, oh my God, what? So there he is guys with the second top on. And as you can see, very, very red. Uh, I think I probably prefer the black uh, entrance top, which is really cool. It's obviously got like the gold studs on it. Um, I don't know if you can put that over the top. You can put two tops on at the same time, but uh, he starts to look a little bit like uh, the Big Show. <laughs> he really bulks out, so I don't recommend it. Um, I think I prefer the black top over the red one. Um, but they're both cool. This this figure's great, look. This is a great figure, um, and uh, it's one that I would strongly recommend. I'm gonna, I think, you know, for a first effort and everything, I'm gonna give this, oh, I'm gonna give this a, this is tough. Uh, I'm gonna give this a, it's either a strong eight or a low nine. Um, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a low nine. I think, I think it's that good. I think once you have it in person, and just the fact that you've got a Nakamura figure, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. Right, guys, don't forget, jump over to Wrestling Shop, because if you type in the discount code DAYS, D-A-Z-E, then you can save 10%, and they have Shinsuke Nakamura figures in stock, so uh, you'll be able to save some money, so check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, that's it. If you like the video, uh, please give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Oh, he's a little bit loose at the bottom. I didn't realise that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't. Oh, that's really loose. Doesn't matter. Right, in fact, come on, Shinsuke. Why can I not do this? <laughs>